The Northern Territory Government is planning to reduce the number of young people in its detention centres by providing alternative accommodation to which they can be bailed. At the moment, three quarters of juveniles detained are on remand, waiting to face court. The government hopes the alternative facilities will ensure less young people are sent to detention. Senior Dondale Detention Centre Officer Ian John's wife Veronica was a keen artist. She used painting to get through recounting abuse she suffered as a child in a home for stolen generation children to the Institutional Sexual Abuse Royal Commission in 2014. She's inspired me with the Royal Commission and helping me do all the stuff that I needed to do for the Royal Commission. Before she died of cancer last month, Ian John's wife encouraged him to give evidence to the Youth Detention Royal Commission that the justice system is failing young people. Especially with the young and vulnerable, the young ones, if, if they've committed a theft or something, we need something else in Dondal. Most 10 to 14 year olds in detention have been remanded there until they face court. Ian Johns has watched their detention with older convicted criminals teach them how to commit more serious crime. They need to be uh, mentored, they shouldn't even be in detention, they should be out in some program outside. The government is planning to get more juveniles out of detention by giving the courts the option of instead bailing them to revamped child protection houses in Darwin and Alice Springs. It'll be supported bail accommodation where young people may go where there's no other suitable place for them to be bowed to. Ian Johns also wants better psychological care for vulnerable detainees with mental health problems. We've taken them to, to hospital to be assessed, but they, they always come back as behaviour. Personally, I don't believe it's behaviour because when you see some kids hallucinating and stuff like this, we need mental health 24-7 to be able to deal with these kids that we have. The government's promising improvements. Recently, we've um, worked very closely with the mental health services to arrange for um, medical practitioners to come to the detention centre to do assessments. Detention centres which the government hopes will soon be less full of young people. Jane Barden, ABC News.